breakfast for this morning, some decals for our turkey. We have um, the pre-made out of four wool, three parts, the body, the head and neck. And um, maybe you've gotten started on this flat felted piece for the, for the tail feathers. So, um, and this is also gonna be the feet. So we're gonna work on this video in on um, the body piece first. And what you'll want for that, like I said, is it's basically the egg shape or a ball shape. It's smaller than um, the full egg we would use for um, other animals where the whole thing is the egg. So, and I'm just gonna show you some details, like pulling some of this apart a little bit to show you the details of this. So I basically, um, on the body, outlined a wing on one side and a wing on the other. And then toward the back of the body is black, and this part is the white or off-white for, um, for the white feathers, it's four wool. Um, and then there's basically a cross ways of black and brown for making um, feathers across here. It's really just uh, an impression of feathers with lines. And on the wing, you can go more detailed and make uh, V-shaped lines, but see, this is what I've done on this one. This, this is a wing shape, basically like a teardrop shape with, with V shapes in it. So, but you don't have to do that. You can get more detailed or less detailed than that. So I'm just gonna go with the basic, um, and this is a little bit, this part is, there's a groove here at the top of each wing too, and a groove, grooves across you can, I can, I can keep working on this and make it more and more detailed. And I just, um, I felt like this was enough. And these lines that you're making don't have to be totally neat either. That you want them to be a little um, <clears throat> natural looking and feather, you know, literally <laughs> feathers. There's a reason that we use the word feathery, feathered to mean something that's kind of wispy and blended. So you don't have to make these lines really sharp like we do on some other things. So. Um, and you can outline this in various ways. So I'm just gonna make, a, so what we'll do is, um, and I'm working in a different space now, so I hope the lighting is good and it's gonna work out here, but I'm gonna make grooves going down the sides. Now this could be just a ball shape. Mine is kind of an oval. I think it's gonna get, I'm gonna wind up pressing in more on the front and the back as we attach the other pieces, but I'm gonna make grooves on, so I would say it's gonna be like a quarter on one side, half in the middle, and then another quarter on this side in terms of dividing up the space, but it can really be anything. Um, as long as the wings, you're doing the wings the same and leaving some space in the middle for other feathers. Okay, and that's why we're doing this separately. You can attach all these pieces and then try to get the details in there, but I feel like it would be um, it would be harder to get in there. So we're not gonna worry about the very back of this and the very front of this. It's gonna get those details we can add after we've attached these other things. And you see, I peeled this apart a little bit. I'm gonna go back in afterwards, <clears throat> attach it better. But we'll talk about that when we attach, put our pieces all together. So what we'll have for this turkey, we already had, we had the basics. There'll be a video about this body, a video for the head, a video for this turkey tail feathers, and then we will probably have a final video of putting it all together. And the feet, the feet, we're gonna use a video for now that's um, just general bird feet. If, you, if we need to do something more specific, which I don't think we do, somebody let me know. Okay, so you see I'm making this kind of wing shape on either side. And then what you can do is you can color block this. So now I have, um, you know, it's basically, this is similar if you've done birds with me before to the bird body, except that we're it's separate from the head. So we're, and it's a little bit more sideways. So we're making two sculpted wings and then a separate section in the center. I'm gonna color block this a little bit more simply even than I did on here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the back half of this, I'm gonna then maybe make a groove lengthwise down the middle and cover the base of this. If you look at pictures of turkeys, they all, they're all they all a little different. There's some that have more black and more dark colors than others, some that are really light. But I want 
wanted to kind of make this a mixture. So I'm making, I'm gonna make a black section. These feathers are darker. And you don't, like I said, you don't have to go all the way to the back, that part's not even gonna show. I'm gonna make a color block of black here. What's nice about this project too, what I said about feathery, is if you're seeing like white spots coming through, you don't even need to worry about that because I think that makes it look more like feathers. Okay. And I encourage you if you um, have a particular type of turkey you kind of wanted to make, you can look at detailed pictures and, and do something more specific, or you can look at pictures if you find, you know, if there's something you like. That I'm not doing and you can make that up okay so you see there's some like little white spots in here but I'm really not going to worry about it because I'm going to make lines going all different directions and it's some we could even add white lines to the you see this one I did leave some white spots on here and I think it looks cool um, I'm going to be a little more specific than I was on this one or more color blocked I kind of put a smaller feather thing I'm going to make the whole wing I'm going to take this the beige color. I gave you several colors. You can use something else like a, a more gold color if you'd like, but I'm going to take the tan and I'm going to make cover each wing with the tan. And maybe to make this a little shorter, I'm just going to, what I'm actually going to do is just do one, one wing for now. I'm going to cover this wing and I'll show you basically just how I would mark this wing. And you can do this, the other one the same way. I'm going to wait. Um, this is obviously the front. It's all going to get covered by that neck piece. And that's where those details are going to come from. So you don't have to worry about here. Or I guess it would be here. Um, so I'm just covering that wing part. And I want to firm it up. So with all of this... Um, I want to be shaping it and firming it because it's going to hold those details much more nicely if it's nice and firm. Okay, I'm just going to, even though I said white spaces can show through, I'm just going to cover this up kind of solidly right now. And um, you see on this one, I left a bunch of white. What I'm going to do now is make some markings, and white, some white markings and some brown markings to, for this wing. And like I said, you can come up with your own, your own way to do this. But this is sort of, at this point, this is really abstract. We're trying to capture what the overall look of the turkey without whoops without necessarily um you know felting each individual feather so what i'm gonna do is take this brown handy too so i'm in a different mood ah i do okay excellent um first i'm gonna outline the whole wing. You don't have to do these outliney things. I think I kind of like doing that stuff, but I'm going to outline this whole wing with the, with the brown. You can do another color or not outline it at all. I'll try to make this a little thinner. It doesn't matter. It can be, a, like I said, this is abstract, so it can be a thicker outline. this wing basically it is like a teardrop shape round in the front and pointed at the back in camera here okay then with that same color I'm gonna stick with the brown for a minute here and um, actually, no, I take that back. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um, and you can just make this up too, like I am basically gonna do. Um, I'm gonna take the white and make like um, an interior line here that's the same 
shape. Let's echo that shape. And you can mark this with your needle first before you put the wool down. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So you'll see, like you, you know, here's the one. You can look at this one if you like that one better. But I'm gonna try. I'm just trying something else, just to show you that it's really just abstract geometric designs that will all make a pretty tricky way. Okay, so then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one more. You could actually even here, I'll make a, just a solid shape in the middle. Solid, unless this is getting kind of paisley-ish, which I think is cool. You can really go for really more abstract and stylized paisleys with polka dots and crazy colors and stuff. It'd be fun to make a bird like that. Okay, so, so that's my, uh, the design of the white. And now I'm gonna take the brown and come over that and make these, um, let's see, how do I do this one? Yeah, I'm just gonna start up here. I'll start in the middle, let's see. Not in the middle, but I'm gonna make one that goes from here to the top of that paisley in the middle. Make my first, this is kind of like chevrons. So I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I like giving you options. This is sort of what I what I did on this one is did the same thing, but the white was just around the outside, and the chevrons are on the just on the just on the beige part, the tan part. So now I'm just gonna try to make these chevrons on the whole wing. And you can make these very skinny and fine. They kind of maybe would look better if they were more feathery. Maybe didn't go quite, you know, I'm gonna pull some of this off. I think they might look better if they're more feathery and don't go quite to the outside. I'll start them kind of. Okay, I'm gonna make these about a quarter of an inch apart. And I can still do something else if, over this if I don't like how this turns out. I can keep layering. So what looks really intricate is just just lines and you know how I usually show you how to do the lines like on each edge to make it really refined and I just think that that's totally unnecessary with this project just like poke randomly and let it be let it be a little more um, a little messier and like I said this is just another idea so you'll see whether you like this one but it's the same technique if you did it this design. It's the same thing, except that I did one, one, it's like I left the whole wing white and made a, that one area tan and then I, and then outlined that and then went, do the, see these big V's? One, two, it's just a few V's there. And that might be a slightly lighter color. I think I gave you assorted colors and you could be, playing around with different shades in here too. And when we do this tail feather thing, I'm gonna show you a way to like really, really blend stuff, which maybe we should do on this wing too. But what I did on that is, um, and we can do it here, it's like I'm pushing, pushing the wool in different, in a direction that's kind of blending it more that way. We can, we can do that make other markings, how about we actually make this one go this way? So I'm really kind of messing up the colors and the markings and making them more feathery. Yeah, forget about that shape on the inside, it's just kind of getting, maybe that would have been better to be a little loosey goosier, a little, a little wispier. All right, anyway, hopefully, I'm gonna like how this turns out. I'm just gonna emphasize the shape of it again. And um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the other one. So, but um, I would do the same thing on the other side. That's my wing right there. You see that? And I like how that turned out. And if I wanted to add a little more wisps of white or or blend other sections, see how, see how I'm bending the 
bending these to make them look more feathery. I can make it zigzag. Um, but I think for the wing, I don't really want it. I just want it mostly to have this wing shape echoed. Okay, so then in the middle, this is really going to be the same thing. Um, I'm just going to be cross hatching different colors. So I'm going to take, right now, I'm going to take this tan. Since I, I this is black and this is white, I'm going to have um, the tan going this way. You can do it either way, but I'm going to have the tan go this way and the brown go the other way. And you can add a third color, fourth color. I just have these out right now. I'm not using any of the gold. I'm going to save the gold for the, I'm going to do the feet and the beak in the gold, I think. So I'm really just making these, again, messy lines. I'm going to have like three going this way. This one I might want to make a little thinner. Doesn't really matter. And like I said, I don't mind at all if all this poking makes some white show through. Okay, and then I'm going to start making lines. Um, horizontally and you can make these lines into grooves too that'll make it look more like lines of feathers but you don't have to and you may think of a totally different way to do this you like better but that's what I did so all I did is go back and forth with different colors I think I used like a lighter brown or darker brown on this one but in this one I'm doing the tan and the brown And I'm going to do about, about a quarter to three eighths inch apart. You can even do a thing where you do both colors at the same time. I could take little bits of the tan and the brown at the same time, kind of mix them together on each stripe to make it even more variegated. Okay, but I, I like how this looks and um, you can make more lines or fewer lines, whatever you like, but I'm going to just keep going and then we'll be done with this body until any, any more details that we would add would be after the neck gets attached and the tail feathers. You can make these lines very, very thin. I do think they look better when they're really thin and wispy and if they come out too thick, you can just poke them in more. poking it's okay to make a groove so um that's what that body looks like it's a little smaller than this than the one I had done and it's okay we'll just it'll all wind up looking proportionate I might have to make these tail feathers a little smaller um all right so that's that's the body I'm just going to make the only like I said the front's not going to show too much the back's not going to show too much and the belly we can finish after um, so it's just a matter of doing the two wings and the back. Okay, and that's that's it. It's a lot of detail, but it's not precise detail. So it's not um, nothing to stress over. It might take a while, but... And I, I like that I have some white spots in here. I might even go back over this and add little bits of black in here and little bits of white in here. But you can play around with it as much as you want or as little as you want with your details. Um, all right, so... Uh, we'll move on to the head.